We will not be telling that story. Is that what this is? Is this story time or is it? <sighs> Cameras don't usually like me. Does yours add 15 pounds like everyone else's? No, I try to avoid cameras, honestly. Usually when I have to do an interview with something bad happened and those aren't fun. And I gotta look at I gotta look at the camera the whole time. Yeah, That's just right in my face. Ready, Rolling over here. Ready, You've been rolling, I guess. Like the lights are red lights don't lie. <laughs> Got to Texas at the end of sixth grade, and small town it was just, I mean, everything revolved around football. And I'm from a football family, like my dad played, my uncles played, all in college, so it was kind of what you did on the weekends was sports. Honestly, I wanted to be a punter. I thought it was cool to kick the ball, but I just wasn't very good at it. I had a buddy who was the punter, and he was my ride home from practice. So he had to stay afterwards to work on punting, so I would stay also and just started snapping a little bit. And just the more I worked at it, I had a coach that really wanted me to keep trying. And I just got better at it. And it was just something I did. I also, I mean, I didn't really think about it that much because I was also playing center, so it kind of was natural just that I was there one more play and then I go to the sideline. But yeah, my uncle snapped in college, so that was, I always knew kind of what that was. I think it's more just repetition, and you know how to hold it and how hard you're throwing it and all your release points, but it changes. It's not just me, it's also the holder where he catches the ball, and having our group now, I think this is seven years together, or six now that we have Prater the first year, but even with Sam, the first year with Sam, it was different than all the years before, so once we figured that out, we just kind of keep it rolling. It's, there's something to be said for the continuity of the group there. Went to Baltimore as a rookie. I really enjoyed it. I, it was fun. It was fun to still be part of it. I, I thought I was done at the end of college. Well, I was living at home, which is always fun after you graduate from college. And I just had little temp jobs. And I would get up, go to work. On the weekends, we'd watch, Dad and I would watch whatever Cowboys or Texans game was on, and then we'd go out and snap afterwards. And that was kind of how it went those first seven weeks when I was home. I knew I, I knew I still wanted to play. I wanted to try. I was gonna give it another year and if, if no one called, then I'd go get a real job. But I, I, I didn't wanna give this up too quickly. I got pretty lucky that my last game in Baltimore before they released me was against Detroit. So that, that's how they found me. He wouldn't have believed you. He, that kid was just trying to get week by week. <laughs> just trying to figure it out. But it's just, I don't know. I, I try, I really don't think about how long it's been until I look in the mirror or you remind me, hey, you're passing this number or you've done this so many times. And then you start thinking about all the training camps and you've spent two years of your life in training camp. And you're like, wow, that's a lot. After my second season, 
we had a lot of mutual friends at a and I would go back and train in the off season. And so it was a uh, weeknight and one of our friends was turning 21 and we met at the bar. I mean, it's just your typical meet at the bar story. Her dad didn't love the fact that she didn't really tell him what I did right away. And he was very confused that this 24 year old's hanging out in a college town who's not in school and doesn't work there. He was like, good choice, honey, but it all worked out. Yeah, I've got a job that takes me away from my family for half the year. It's gotten harder the older the kids have gotten. And I mean, my wife is being pulled a thousand directions with soccer and baseball and horseback riding and gymnastics and she's kind of solo so it's makes me feel bad that i'm not there and they understand why i'm not there but she is amazing i honestly don't know how she does it because sometimes i have the kids solo and i usually can make it about an hour before i have to call her and ask what to do i just i'm in awe every day of it Madison's seven. She's a uh, math's getting harder. They've changed math apparently. It does, doesn't make sense to me, but she gets it. I mean, the answers are the same, so I guess that's good. Loves horseback riding like her mama. That's fun in the off season. I get to go with her and watch her do the jumps and take the horse around, and it's that's I love doing that on Saturdays. My son Jack, five kindergarten, gets to read to me at night, which is fun. We've uh, that was a big part of the living apart is the first year the kids were a little small for FaceTime and didn't quite get it but now we have a little routine at night where we say goodnight to all of them in the order and they all get some FaceTime with me and I can help with homework or they can read me stories from the readers from school or that stuff or I can just talk to Avery because she's too but they're still in the let's just be part of this phase and it's it's fun and then I mean they sit in the stands with all the other kids of the players and they cheer and they just, it's just a fun deal. And my son loves coming in the locker room after a win. That's, that's awesome. And I love to be able to bring him in there and do that. We, I mean, you go out for pregame, you, uh, you go in, you get dressed, you go check the field out, and this year we were at Soldier Field and it was cold. So I got dressed, but I put my, my sweats on over everything. I was wearing my cleats and I walked out of the tunnel to the field and the guy was like, what are you doing? I said, what do you mean what am I doing? I'm going to the field. He's like, where's your pass? I was like, what pass? And he was like, you can't go out here without a pass. And I was like, no, 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 I'm a player. And he was very shocked, I was like, oh, Okay, you can go, sir. But, yeah, that happens. Shout out to the GOAT. Jeez, man. <laughs> really? You make me feel... Put a shirt on, go. man. You're killing me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Martin, man. That's the GOAT. He Give me a break. Young. Makes me feel young. I get a lot that I'm the old guy now when I play people. Hey, you've been there forever. I'm like, yeah, sure have. Facebook came out in 04. I was already here. Uh, I just... I, I know, man. I, uh, the gray in my beard's aging myself. It's not what I'm saying. But, yeah, that does sound bad, I guess. Um, I might need to cut that part or edit it somehow so it doesn't sound so bad. It was weird. When I, when I got here, Hanson, I think his daughter was four or five, and now she babysits for me. It's just, that's, that'll make you feel old but I like being the old guy in the locker room. I hope I could be half of what Jason was to me to somebody else, I should say that way. Hey, Mule, it's Hanson. Congratulations on going into second place all time, passing Dominic. You got a few more to catch me, but you might do it. You might do it. If you had ever thought that you would play this long, I know you're lying, because none of us ever think we play that long, but you know what it means? It means you're a true pro. You've made it this far. I know you got some more years in you. I hope you do beat me. Congratulations. I mean, football-wise, I've never seen a guy more dedicated to a routine than Jason. And then you watch him do the same thing every single day. And then you watched it pay off, which was 
so impressive and I just wanted to emulate that and find my own little routine and some people might say I have a slight form of OCD but maybe that helps me with my routine a little bit. I was a business major. I love the details. The details are what makes things. Especially, I like to focus on, I give it something my full attention at a time. I would hate to just not do that and it not feel good. I don't get to watch the game very much because I'm over there inside the getting ready for, I mean, every drive is going to end. We're either going to punt or kick an extra point or a field goal. So I know I know my time's coming soon. I just don't know when. But like that's the only way I know. And that was, I don't know how Jason kicked that many balls every single day but it worked. Off the field, that's any questions I ever had, be it finance or how to do the whole, your family lives different than you during the season kind of things. And just any question I ever had, he was always there. And it, I mean, no judgments, just help, which was, it's hard for people that aren't in it to understand. To have a guy on the team that's like that is, that you can go to for things is, is invaluable. Just a, a hard worker, a good teammate, good person, good husband, a good father. Tried to do it the right way, the best he could. And just put his head down and, and got the job done. I uh, try not to look back too much because it's been a long time. <laughs> but uh, no, it, it, is, it is amazing and I've, I've enjoyed, enjoyed every year and each one has challenges. And, experiences and I get to meet new people all the time and I'm definitely thankful that none of the really athletic guys want to be the snapper because when that happens I'm out of here quick but as long as they need me I'll be here there's still gas in the tank I am Don Muehlbach